Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm very excited for today's video. It's actually going to be a collaboration with my bro. How's it going? So we're going to um, do a nice big project today. We're going to change the spark plugs and replace the ignition coils. Ignition coils. All right, so we're going to teach you guys step by step how to do that. Let's do it. Actually, the first step you want to do is remove the negative side of the battery. That way, uh, when you're working on these electrical parts, you don't get shocked. So we'll go ahead and do that. After that, we'll remove the cover. We got my bro getting in there, coming at it hard. Getting it loose there. Like so. Next step we're gonna we're gonna do is remove these one by one. You can just pop them out like so. There you go. Get those out of the way. So we got the right size of outer wrench and my brother's coming at ignition coils. Don't lose the bolts. <laughs> Careful you don't drop them in the engine like I've done in the past. <laughs> no way. So we like to clean them before we take them out, just clean the area. Um, that way, um, if there's any debris, any trash or anything, or dust like that, like you just seen, we really don't want it to go inside where the spark plug is going. Okay. First one. What did you do to take those out? I just twisted it right a little bit, and it came out cool. easily. Pop. Cool deal. Pop. There you go. Take out the trash. Does it look bad? Show, let's show yeah, how it looks. It Pretty corroded. Yeah, like, terrible. Yeah, white powder coming out of it. That's the worst one, I think. I think this is the first, second, third, and fourth. Not that it matters, just that's the way they came out. Now we'll try to get up, get uh, pictures of it inside. Not too bad. You wanna get some light in there? Yeah, let's see if we can. Let me get this one. Right? See if I can get it. Oh, you can see a little bit. Oh, there you go. That's good. Yeah. Okay, looks pretty clean in there. Cool. All right, we're gonna get the socket, the correct socket for this, and we'll get these out. So for the spark plugs on this car, it's um, a size five eight, and we got the the twelve inch extension, as you can see. And when you do this, you want to do it with the um, engine cool. That way you avoid any issues. I can see it sitting there. Yeah? You want to try... Uh, so here's our little contraption to pull out the... To pull out the spark plug. Since the socket we're using doesn't have that rubber sleeve. We just put a magnet inside and there you go. Bam, that's what we wanted to see. Cool. Obviously terribly burnt out. Oh yeah, let's 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 catch them on video. Corroded. Oh wow. Yeah, that was, it's it's been needed to get replaced, so. Terrible. Cool. Let's keep moving on. Save these. Don't want to. That one was in there a little bit more than the other one, huh? Yeah, that's one was tighter for sure. Number three. Just wanted to show everybody the replacement parts we bought. We went ahead and bought the four pack of ignition coil. Honey. Honey. Ignition coil multi pack. Honey. We bought four new spark plugs and new. Hold on, plug insulator. 
Okay, so we got all the spark plugs out. Next step is we're gonna put this boot protector on each spark plug. Get more, like so. So prevent the bolts from getting stuck. And we're gonna ever so gently guide them in. Until you feel it. I'm going back. Okay, this is spark plug number two. I don't know how much to use, but that looks like enough. Nothing is good. Yep. I'll put that in. I got the magnet in there to hold it, and my brother's gonna guide it in there ever so gently, and he's gonna finesse it. Cause he got those guitar fingers. I wanted to show the new one, which is on my left hand, and then the old one. I'll just see all the, the corrosion and stuff. Yeah, just for reference. Cool. And then continuing over here, Albert's getting the last, the last spark plug ready. He's putting that anti-seize compound. That way, whenever he, uh, he needs to do another spark plug change, it'll come out easier. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll edit that out. <laughs> cool. Got that part done. Oh, I see what you're saying, Albert. There's plenty in here. <laughs> Cool. Once he gets this one in, he's basically gonna um, he's gonna tighten it, and then we're gonna be ready for the ignition coils. I'll get those ready for him. This was a bit of an emergency situation, and we did not torch spark plugs to specs. We encourage you to be better than us and torque your spark plugs. Let's get them coils inside. What are you doing with those, Albert? I'm just pushing them in, making sure they're snug, and the next thing I will be doing is putting on the bolts. You want to do... Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Do one as you go, huh? Make sure it's snug. Yeah, there you go. Good. Have to be in just getting the key, part, key moments. He's on the third coil. Just snug it up by hand, and then he got the um, the screw with the Allen head. Snug, and then a little pass snug. Then go for the last one. this step we're just um, connecting the connectors to each ignition coil make sure they don't pop off. yeah you could do a little tug test after like a little tug to try to tug it off you can feel it on you can taste it on however Vic that. Victories <laughs> in your reach. You should spray it with some little electronic cleaner, but it's okay. There you go, guys. Let's see. Yeah. Hey. You go back to uh, driving like uh, Vin Diesel. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. It sounded like it clipped yeah. in, huh? Oh, oh sparks. Excuse me. Hey. 
Can I help him? He got it. He got it. Just try not to touch anything else other than yeah. just that. <laughs> Don't make a connection. <laughs> okay, I'll Don't touch, don't touch the body, you didn't touch it. So after this, he got the battery connected. We're gonna start it up and take it for a okay, test drive. So here's the moment of truth. Does it sound different? A thousand times better. So before we did this um, project, um, one of the cylinders was misfiring and it sounded horrible. Unfortunately, I did not get um, video of that. And uh, I hate when that happens. It was just, we were eager to get this project going, get my brother back on the road and uh, yeah, that's what happened. Instead of sounding like a consistent engine cycle as far as for the cylinders, um, it sounded like it was more galloping. Uh, so uh, the engine would be like groo, 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 oh, really? instead of a standard just groo, vibrating noise that engines do and then I could feel it kind of shake more the engine was a little bit more shaky compared to now yeah. uh, the ride's a lot more smooth um, I can hear the engine uh, not galloping it sounds like the way it did before so it sounds good huh so it, and it feels good huh it feels good it feels smooth and the engine itself is not making the whole car shake compared to before the engine was galloping and I could feel <laughs> and the other noises that we hear just other issues but we'll get we'll get to those uh, at another time Eventually, some transmission stuff but uh, we'll be able to work on that in time cool cool awesome there you have it it was a success um, the car is running good and I just want to thank my brother for this collaboration you know hopefully we'll we'll do more of them in the future on oh. different things on the house projects or car <laughs> projects yeah which is what we do here on this channel um, so if you like the video, please comment, like, um, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.